Hello, Hacky here. It's been about a year, but it is that time again of year. Black Friday 2017 has passed, and with that is another batch of Penny Arcade Double Secret Boxes. Here we go, you can see them, Double Secret. These blind boxes have two pins in them each, and they're random, and today I will be unboxing this, a case of Double Secret Boxes. Uh, we've rev it's already been revealed that there is a new cool pin to find in there, a blindfolded um, summer camper. So that's the thing we'll, we'll be chasing. There's also the potential for the blind merch as well. Uh, and trying something a little bit different with this camera setup. I do have a green screen behind me. It's like, it's like I've got uh, additional cool setups. So let's get right started. I've got a two camera setup here. Um, I'll be opening a box and uh, displaying the pins out just like this. So let's go. Let's go chat. It's been a busy 2017 for me in terms of travel and PAXs from PAX South, PAX East, PAX, um, PAX West, and the new PAX Unplugged. Uh, that was actually two a week and a half ago, two weeks ago for me. Philadelphia was lots of fun. So great to meet and re and see everybody's faces again at various uh, PAXs. Uh, we have the... Um, I got a green screen on this one, so uh, this might not show up too well. But it uh, looks like we've got the Australia 2015 uh, Scuba Tyco, maybe. Don't remember the actual name, but it is definitely from that set. Balloon Man. All right, there's box number one. We'll go ahead and display the pins right here for you to see as we go. But yeah, I've, I've always enjoyed it, these double secret boxes. I play a lot of card games, and opening booster packs of cards have always been like a kind of a fun thing. I don't play too many physical card games, so that feeling of opening uh, opening boxes and getting close, random stuff inside is always great. Alright, this is from this year. Is this South? I want to say South. South was the normal platforming game. Pack South 2017 this year. Oh man, do you, we have over 600 pins to go. I know this because of the Pax Unplugged uh, panel. If you were there, hello. If not, that's okay. I think we've got it recorded and you can find it somewhere. So we've got, uh, I think that's a Core 2.0. Core 2.0 Tyco. All right, two down. And um, 10 more to go. But yeah, we got some more pins this winter before we head right back into traveling for PAX South. I will be at PAX South 2018. That'll be in San Antonio. Speaking of San Antonio and PAX South from the inaugural PAX South, we've got a Tyco. This will be PAX South's fourth year now. It's always a good one to visit. I've been happy with traveling to San Antonio. It's a good time. It's nice, uh, just after the winter holidays going over there. So, no blind things yet. I actually expected after, um, after PAX West and all of the Mixer Hype pins that we would be seeing a lot of Mixer Hype, but that doesn't seem to be the case for these boxes. We've got a Christmas Div, it looks like. Almost a third of the way through the Double Secret boxes. I'll also be doing a video for um, for the Super Mario, um, the Super Mario three uh, case. I'll be getting a case for that. That one has twenty different pins. That's a little crazy, and I'll be only probably likely getting one case. So that's going to be one where we're going to be trading to complete that. That's always that's a good prospect, honestly, where I can't just open a case and get all of the pins I want and never have to trade except my singles. Fruit Friend... That would be a Core 2. Is that Core 2, Fruit Friend? Was it original? 20, oh, 2012 Fruit Friend. Yeah. Those date variants sometimes. Alright, so this is box number 5. 
And we've got uh, Swimming. Swimming, I believe this was the PAX West 2017 set, where all of the pins are based on a fictional platforming game with Tycho, Gabe, Kemper, and friends. PAX Australia had a fire level. PAX Unplugged had a snow level. We have more scuba, scuba Tycho's. We're at box number six, about halfway. Uh, PAX East also coming up this year. Badges have gone on sale. It's Jim Dark Magic from the original Acquisitions Incorporated set. Speaking of Acquisitions Incorporated, I've watched a lot of their adventures this year. The various packs is always entertaining and looking forward to more, including it unplugged. Weave Rainbow Slide. Was this a East? East was a cloud level, I believe. The PAX East 2017 show set. So we're on Mike Fillower, I think. Apologies if I mispronounced names. Mike Fair. Box number eight, and we're approaching the two-thirds of the way through Mark. If I had a little bit of better lighting, I would have put the the pins under a green screen too and got some nice background, but I suppose this is pretty good. Another Fruit Friend, 2013. So now I've got two different years of Fruit Friends from Core 1.0. Blindfolds. Reserved for the boxes so far. Well, it's kind of the treasure hunt. More sliding Gabe on a rainbow. Cool. So, so far, four, eight boxes opened. Four more to go. Break open the stickers and the double secret boxes. And let us continue. Let's see. What could this be? This is a rainbow shape in the bag. You can kind of see the silhouette of pins. Actually, this is kind of tall. And this is plastic wrapped. And it seems that I... It seems like I have found a blind Kemper. Now, do you want to know something really cool that I noticed before I opened this box? I think this box is a little bit different color than the rest. If you can see that it is slightly off color compared to or brighter color compared to the ones next to it so I wonder if actually this box that's the way you can tell you've got a special one but speaking of special ones I guess we better uh, open the second one this is ooh, a square it's a rounded corner so I think this is a comic yeah we've got what is this? Kind of unclear. You know what? I didn't actually identify what this what this is from the strip. A rat, raccoon, rabid thing. Looks pleasant. All right. Well, mission accomplished. There is a blind camper there. So. Box number nine, spread out. Let's go finish this off and see what else. Now, uh, Pack South it will probably have... Ooh, uh, this is a Core 2013. Core 2013 game. We've got one more packs where um, I, we will have the staff food trading for a little adorable food, and that's always a fun... That's a cool set to collect. People like adorable adorable th pins. And I hope that the next set that we trade staff for is equally as desirable, besides on its own. Like, we've seen a few, the, the staff bus, we've got a head in there. But honestly, the adorable food is something that is really cool to collect. And I hope the next set um, continues along that line. I think I've got almost a full set uh, to another 2013 Tyco here. Almost a full core set. What was the what was in the other the other pin in the core set? I don't think it was a Kemper. I think it was 
div or something. So third rainbow sliding, Gabe. All right, we're on our last box. Last box to go. You can actually see the pile of boxes as I'm stacking them on here. They're actually in the camera. Unintended consequence of how I'm doing this. Let's go. Let's see some stuff. Here we go. We got Coffee Kemper. Coffee Kemper from PAX East 2015, I believe. Because it was 2014 was Colonial Kemper. 6 2016 did not have a Kemper. And our final is a third Mike Fair Bust. So that is the case. Let's go, um, let me lean back a little bit. Highlight, of course, a blind temper. Uh, it is, in fact, double back, double posted. And mine says 2017. Yep, Penny Arcade 2017. I don't see the text for a limited edition, so the DSB merch said limited edition 500, but it may be that the blind campers don't actually have a limited edition stamp. And no, it doesn't. No, it does not. It is just a cool insert for those of you, those of us, who like partaking in the double secret boxes. So, this was recorded on November 29, uh, November 29, 2017. As of this, there will be two more chances to get 2017 double secret boxes. If you like blindfolded campers, if you need four so that you can mod three of them to be the four colors of the Teenage Mutant Ninja campers, um, best of luck on your trading or your pulls. And I believe that some of these pins will likely be traded for adorable food and or whatever set we might see at PAX East 2018. So um, I'll likely see you if you'll be at either PAX South or PAX East. I'll also see you if you in a few days for a du Super Mario 3 blind box unboxing. So thank you for watching. My name is Hacky. You can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hacky channel or on Twitter at hacky or I guess on this YouTube channel hacky channel. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this Penny Arcade unboxing video.